What is this? Is this a... Do, I, do you get a pack if you win? Oh, you just get random cards. Okay. Well, we're going to play with the red-green elemental deck and see if anything happens with that. We didn't get a sound. Oh, is the sound broken? We still hear the music, but it actually didn't play. There it goes. Got a laggy sound. All right, Motagis. Oh, it's taking a while for assets to load, too. Oh, no. Okay, so we got one red land. We can live with this. Just because we have some of these other green spells here. We will drop this turn one. Turn two, we'll get the Hellhound out. Turn three, we may cultivate. I don't know, it all depends. We'll see what other options we have. We, My dude's pitching over here. Which I kind of feel bad about. Uh, I will take. I love me a good Shadow Spear. Uh, Life Link, putting it on the Hellhound is fantastic because it basically just buffs him up. A good little mana dork here. So this actually is a good way to get like a good turn two. Right. See, that was an acceptable turn two. And we have to worry about the Death Touch here or just the removal spell from the black, but we're looking really heavy green. This is the this is the only green we run in this deck. We run some ramp, uh, and then we want all of our aggressive stuff to be red. So green just helps us. If we can draw some green, great. But this is what we want is the red. See, this is beautiful. This is this is what we want right here. Oh no no no. We need land. I need one more red. Am I going to do this? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this correctly. Let me tell you something. I don't know why I'm doing this. Because we're going to destroy this land anyways. Uh, take action. Yeah. And the Great Warrior. I guess just in case. Uh, I drew like a one drop. I don't even know. Yeah, we'll just aggro that. We'll fervor the bit next turn. We had to clean up our land, even though it doesn't matter because of this guy. But I think that was the best course of action. We're going to mutate this thing, and this is the other amazing thing in this deck. So we're looking at a 0 1 right here on the battlefield. Oh no, I know where this is going immediately. So, this Parcel Beast combo with the Swarm. How do you play for a blue? Wait, what am I looking at here? Am I blind? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'll, 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 go, I'll go with it. So, this... This is a pretty nasty combination. We were going to mutate this thing. We're going to put it over. We're going to fetch a land. And we're going to fervor. So now this is a big boy. You just unsummon this thing and it's gone though. But this is the whole point of the deck. You gotta have a response to this. If you don't have, this is where the lifelink and trample will come into great effect too. If you don't have a response for this creature, or if you can't like go infinite with this parcel beast, uh, you know, it's it's go it's golden, right? Oh, see, I got a sack of creatures. This is what I'm saying. If you have an answer, you're in the money. Oh my god, are you in the money? So. Battlefield tapped. Oh man, we can only play one spell this turn. That makes me kind of disappointed. Uh, no, because we go in search. Which still lets us play like a cultivate. Yes. So, we will end turn. 
Now we have so much land. We can play the Beanstalk Giant. We can play the Dryad. Now he's just going to be able to mutate and make a sack creatures. So we have to have something out here to actually like have like a sack outlet. Dryad is going to be our upfront person. But we're going to try to keep this Beanstalk Giant alive. That's going to be the big goal. Oh, see, that's nasty. I mean, it sucks you got to use all your mana to get it. But... Okay. So again, he just has to mutate this creature. Right. And I sack a creature. If he has it. He's got to have it. If it's a land card. If you don't put that card in your hand. Yo, free draw? I mean, that's good. You're, you're literally looking for a mutate card, though. Didn't draw it. Oh. That means it's probably given us the free win here. I mean, we've been BS'd pretty hard in like the standard games. So, free Friday Night at Magic. Woo! I mean, even if, even if he swings with the five, like who cares, right? So we're gonna just swing with this, and then we're just gonna laugh because we're gonna Ember Cleave anyways. And that's, that's kind of like the whole point of this. Right? Is this is the late game. Uh, we, we can't seem to draw any of the early game, but this is the late game. So, GG, sir. Ugh. Yeah. We would love to draw more Hellhounds, though. You saw how much lands we got on the battlefield? I'm just flabbergasted. Okay, we need to get one more win. With the brush fire, fire elemental. We have to draw. Like at least one or two lands. Well. At least one. Booty. Booty cat. Nice. It doesn't show our ranks. I'm surprised. Unless that's popping up and just not loading. Uh, we like our hands. We're going to keep. It's a solid beginning. And there's a lot of late game here. Oh, I should probably sleeve my cards, too. We're playing mirrored. What? Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah. Was this a life? Oh, man, I hate these lands. I hate tapped lands. I hate scry lands. Nice. I actually give kudos to, to smacking that. Oh! Oh no! Evolving Wilds! You don't have to sacrifice it now. That's so cool. What? I didn't know he gave this ability to Evolving Wilds. I'm sorry. That's so gnarly. Um, I think I'll just play lands then. It's so good. What? 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 Hey, wait. Oh, if a red source. Oh, he's not a red source. Close enough. He's wearing red clothes. Either way, no point in sacrificing these lands because we can still use them. Oh, yeah, these things are way too big for Bone Crusher right now. I don't even know. Why don't we destroy this thing? always end up paying for the wrong one if I just let it do itself. Oh, that's so funny. What am I supposed to do with all these cultivates? No, seriously. What am I supposed to do with all these cultivates? Uh, Yeah. We want to swing with this bad boy. Every time. We have to. Right. So this is funny. We drew all the land in our deck. And just one brush fire elemental. We're so close. Oh, it has haste? Nice. Flying death touch haste. Okay. Hey look, a hellhound. I don't remember what those look like. 
Um, I think we hold on to this cultivate, right? Gosh, I don't even know. What do we do? I guess we swing. I mean, next turn we can make this hellhound huge. Okay. I actually don't know how that killed it, but it probably has something to do with this guy. One of the creatures you control have death touch. I'm okay with this. Oh, it has trample. That's a big boy. And he has death touch. Oh, that makes me so sad. Darn. Okay, so this is gnarly. drew something amazing here oh it's so good okay I gotta approach this smart because this will come into battlefield tapped I need four mana open right yes yeah okay this is ballsy. This is super ballsy. So, we're in attack phase. He must know that we have Ember Cleave at this point. Right? Right? So, this is GG. Alright, dude. Well, it was close. I was scared. That's how you play the game. Woo. So that was the two F and M games for tonight. What's the prize? There's a prize. Oh my god. It's a shark typhoon. No way. One more quick standard game with the red green elemental. We gotta get a brush fire win in. It has to at least hit the battlefield. It's, get, it's thinking real hard. Normally it throws me into games fast. Maybe this is complete trash deck. Where... Uh, well, I don't even know because I haven't even seen it play. Um, because you get hands like this. This is fine because we will just go with our original game plan. Which is what it gave us. But as for the green side of things... Uh, eh. Oh, we're going to keep. Do we get to go first? Please tell me we get to go first. Nope. But we did draw the mechanic. That's what I can't be mad about. We drew a mountain. We can drop the hellhound. We can sack evolving wilds. We can grab a green. We can evolve. This is everything we want in a deck. Right. Don't shock it. Because we need this one creature. Right. I'm sure you were thinking to yourself, wow, man, I really wanted to shock that thing last turn. You don't. You don't want to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's that's six damage. See, this is what we want. Turn two, six damage, swinging in. You know, quick early aggro. That four, three is not even slightly scary. Right, so this just allows us to drop more lands. That's all the Grove does. We will Great Horn and evolve this thing. Oh, he's going to take the six again. What is his play? We will evolve this thing with the Great Horn and attach a spear to it. And now this early one game, like early one drop creature is turning into like a late game destroyer. Terror of the Peaks, are you going to take a thing? Oh no, is that the other one? Oh, you should have opportunity. Oppor opportunity. It's gonna cut. Ooh, nice. 
Rimrock Knight coming out. Wait, what hit, what hit it for two? Something hit it for two. Oh, something hit it for one. Wait, what? What was it at? It was at three, right? Uh, three S class, whenever it's about a funeral, deal, deal damage, that creature's power to any target. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the actual creature itself. See? Dude. That's good. Um, what are we going to do? We want to Evolving Wilds. We want to... Migratory Great Horn? Maybe? Sure. Oh, no. We lost this. Oh, we totally lost the end game here. Oh, where did we get choked? What, just by him dropping the Tower of the Peaks? He can Rimrock Knight any one of these things. Okay. So, Embercleave. Or Rimrock Knight. Can we pull something off the top of the library and win the game? I don't even think it's possible. I need to go back to the red-blue. That has way more control. So we drew a land, which doesn't do us much. Noise. So, again, we're just sitting in late game. I mean, I, I don't know. We're basically seeing who can top deck the best win con. What, what, is, what does the Avenger do? Okay. So, Tower, Terror of the Peaks, I don't know if he knows this thing has reach. And then this thing can what? Get plus three? He can buff this twice. I have to block this. Right. But we knew this was going to happen. So we want to crack this before he actually gets into his next turn. Right. Right. So now, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man. Seven. I'm wondering. Eight. I don't think he can kill it. Keep the Great Horn open. Uh, we're dead next turn, I think. We'll keep the Great Horn open so we can block the Brushwag. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping... So get this. I'm hoping I can slap this over to here. Right. So now we can actually double up the lifelink when we block with something else. I mean, we're going to block the brushwag, which is so funny that this is like one of the most dangerous things on the battlefield. But we'll, we'll block the brushwag. Is he really tapping mana specific? Oh man, this is scary. What is he dropping? 
I don't even know if he's dropping anything important. I think he's just messing. Right, but I gain life. Oh, good game, sir. It took forever, but we finally won. Thank you for watching. I'm going back to Red Blue. Have a nice donut.